Uh, I'm going to be quiet because... <laughs> hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here and in today's video I'm going to be going over a 2022 Ford F-150 RMT off-road. First and foremost, so a huge shout out and thank you to the Ed Kenley Ford here in Layton, Utah for giving me some time with this F-150. Check out the inventory in the description down below. On the first side note, they don't charge over MSRP for any vehicle. So if you want to pick up this RMT off-road for MSRP, no markup, reach out to them. And then on another side side note, if you guys want to save time and money the next time you purchase a car, link to my car buying guide in the description down below. Let's get into the video. Under the hood, we have a Nacho aspirated 5 liter V8 that goes through a 10 speed automatic transmission. It's good for 400 horsepower and then 410 pound feet of torque. Always cool to see the Coyote V8 under the hood, but there you go. Now let's go over the front end of the RMT off-road. So notice first off, we have the off-road decal there on the windshield. We've got the standard F-150 hood, which in this color just looks fantastic. You've got the LED accent lights with the reflector lights around that. And notice the accent light continues into the fog light region. Notice here with the front grille, how it's dark gray. And then you've got the Ford logo there in the center. Notice we've got the tow hooks there on the front end. And then also you guys can see uh, the appearance here of the air dam. Doesn't come down super far or anything like that. And yeah, that's the front end of the truck. Now popping around the side here, we've got 35s and those are wrapped around 20 inch wheels in the front and over in the rear as well. If we take a closer look at the wheel, it has that cool off-roader type design. Notice the bolts all around. And then we have the red RMT brake caliper right there. And then you can see just how aggressive these 35s are from a tread pattern perspective. The truck also has a six inch lift as part of the RMT off-road package. You can see the setup there and I'll pop underneath here so you can see it a little bit better from that angle and so yeah solid setup notice we got the body painted fender flares they're oversized as part of the package i think they look great we got our f-150 xlt badge rmt badge and then notice the off-road decal there on the side and then here's a full side view before we dive into the shocks and suspension there in the rear and notice that the front ends uh just ever so slightly pops up a little bit higher than the rear so it kind of has that cool raked appearance and then popping here to the rear really get my steps in today you can see the Fox shocks there in the back with the leaf springs that come standard on an F-150 and there you go. So here is our key fob. We have the unlock, the lock, the remote start, and then the drop down here for the tailgate. We have a payload capacity of 1,363 or 65 pounds. Sorry about that. Anyways, we've got the tailgate step here and then we've got the measuring charts on the back and then notice here at the LED lights and then you got the power outlet just down below and then all of the anchors there for the cargo tie down notice it says RMT overland right there definitely cool setup I don't think this has the automatic raise nope so you do have to lift it up yourself it is a little bit heavier there with the tailgate step but not bad at all now finishing things up here with the rear first off look at the three-quarter angle on this truck it looks fantastic especially like I'll be honest, you know, being an owner of a Gen 3 Raptor, I think that side angle there looks a little bit cooler. But anyways, you've got your FX4 off-road decal. This is built off an XLT, so you've got the XLT tail lights, and then we've got our F-150 badge stamped here under the bed, RMT badge down below, and then this does come with a performance exhaust. You guys will hear that in a little bit. Parking sensors along the bottom, and that's the back. Now here's a door panel in the rear. You guys can see the material used here at the top and then down below with all of the stitching then see the metallic trim right there. Bang & Olsen sound system. And then we got our map of uh, Detroit, right, right? And you can see we've got the power side steps. And as for the seats, throwing those down, we've got the leather catskins that have been thrown on. Well, I shouldn't say catskins, but the leather covers that have been thrown on the seats. You can see perforated leather here on the center, and then you got the stitching there as well. And then also we got the cup holders, and then you can see all of the charging ports, and we'll pop in. So first off, side step makes getting in really easy. You also have a grab handle, helps out. And then there is your leg room. There's your headroom as well. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Let's head to the front. Going over the door panel here at the front, it's identical to what you have in the rear from a material standpoint. Still have the map, blind spot monitoring there for the mirror. Uh, you've got your automatic window controls for the front two windows. Still power on the back, just not fully automatic. And the speaker for the Bang & Olsen sound system. And then notice we have got the RMT logo there embroidered there onto the headrest. And then you can see here with the leather, actually it feels really nice. Uh, so super similar to what you'd get with a uh, Lariat, for example. Power adjustments on the side, pedal layout down below. 
Now we've got our pedal adjustment right here, parking brake, light controls. We've got the mirror lights, and then you got that for the outlet. Tailgate drop down steering wheel is manually adjustable. Still got our good old American flag, and let's pop in. Here's the steering wheel in the RMT F-150. So you've got the leather all around. You can see the stitching there in the center. And then I love this trim down below. Controls for the center stack. We have our cruise control here on the other side with the volume and voice command controls. Turn signal, windshield wiper stock, and yeah, there's the steering wheel. Here's the gauge cluster. Notice that RMT has changed out the analog gauges on either side to have the RMT logo. And then you do have the screen here in the center which you can scroll through different bits of information. Uh, this truck doesn't have a ton of miles, so I don't think that fuel economy is uh, particularly accurate, um, but you can at least uh, see it. You've got your my view as well. And then let's go through the different drive modes. So we've got a normal, tow haul, eco, sport. And again, this is built off an XLT, you gotta remember that, slippery deep snow sand, mud ruts, and then your rock crawl. So those are all the different drive modes. Now here is the 12 inch infotainment system. Up above there's a few controls. The main controls, there's a camera button control right there so you can pop on the camera. And then there is a hill descent control, stability control as well. And then if I pop it in reverse, same thing will come up from a camera perspective. Uh, this just has the traditional back of camera, no 360 camera system, but we do get the 12 inch display. So cool thing about the 12 inch display is you can drag, if you do it just right, you can drag it over, there we go. You can drag it over and then you have the pages here on the side, which you can scroll through. Definitely a fun feature, but yeah, great infotainment system, pro power on board. You can also go into that little menu to go through all that stuff and there you go. Pro trailer assist, which I've never seen an F-150 without this at this point, I've reviewed so many trailer brake controls and then we've got our drive mode select locker and then notice we've got our drive line select no four wheel auto on the xlt and then you can see here with the radio controls and then we got heated seats down below dual zone climate controls and then you've got the new faces here for 2022 and then you can see the storage space here with the usb ports a couple cup holders shifter folds down you can manually shift yourself if you want that's what the m mode is for and then very spacious center console setup and then you can see the dual glove box set up. And apparently I pressed something to turn that on. I don't, I don't know what I did. The truck just did it. Anyways, yeah, dual glove box. And then you can see there on the dash from a material standpoint, I feel like it matches with the package. Power setting window. Uh, no center for anything there at the top. So this truck is uh, very tall. So I'm gonna have to like, just stick the camera up here. Hopefully you guys can still hear me, but here is the equipment it comes with this. And then also the three year warranty, which is awesome. Total MSRP, 80,000. $660. And like I said, Ed Kenley Ford here in Layton doesn't charge over sticker for anything. And so yeah, that's all you'd pay. Let's take this out and drive it. Let's talk about visibility before we set off. There's your visibility over the hood. Both mirrors are stupid, blind spot monitoring. And then throughout the rest of the rear. And let's set off. So setting off here in the RMT off-road. First off, let's talk about the road noise and the ride quality. And the seat comfort, right? That it kind of all goes in hand in hand. So from a road noise perspective, hear a little bit more from the tires than what you'd hear in a regular F-150, but it's not, it's not obnoxious or anything. It's, yeah, it's, there's a little bit more, but it's not bad by any means. Uh, and then from a ride quality perspective, even though it's a big lifted truck, you know, 20 inch wheels, 35s, rides really smooth. And I'm actually curious to see, I always have to do this in these truck videos, truck info, tire pressure. So you got that tire set all around 40. So this is roughly where they should be. You could go a little bit lower. Uh, you're gonna give up a little bit of tread life, but you have a smoother ride quality, more so than what this already has. It doesn't do bad with leaf springs. Uh, before we get the acceleration, seat comfort's amazing. Uh, these seats are so plush. Uh, Ford does really good padding, uh, and then just having the added uh, leather on top of it just definitely helps out quite a bit. And uh, I'm gonna be quiet, because <laughs> Gotta love V8s, right? 10 speed automatic's great, right? Puts it right where it needs to be in the power band. Uh, but on top of that, you just, such nice sound quality. Now this isn't as quick as 
uh, an EcoBoost version of the truck. I actually have driven an RMT off-road, or not an RMT off-road, a Black Widow, which is basically the same thing as an RMT off-road, uh, but with the EcoBoost. And yeah, that truck's quicker, but I'm okay with being a little bit slower if I can just hear this. <laughs> like, it's such a nice sound. I'll actually open up the rear window. We'll slow down here quite a bit so you guys can get a little bit more of this exhaust. Just listen. It's just, just muscular. This is like literally just, I mean, we're in a pickup truck, but I feel like I'm, when I floor it, I feel like I'm in an old school muscle car in a way. And I mean, the acceleration matches because if you actually have ever driven an old school muscle car, they're not fast. They have like no horsepower, right? Some of them do, but most of them don't, you know, the older ones. So it just kind of, kind of just gives me that kind of memory. But I guess we will sum things up here with the RMT off-road package. Uh, so first off, exterior wise, I think that it looks great. Uh, you know, as an off-road enthusiast, right, you guys know that I prefer smaller wheels than what this has as a setup, but I will admit that the using 20s and then doing 35s is just such a beautiful aesthetic on a truck. So like, you know, from an aesthetic perspective, it's amazing, even though it's not the most practical. A more practical setup would be dropping down to like 17 inch wheels and doing 37s, or maybe even like 38s. Think about that. That would look really good on this truck. But that'd be kind of more of that like, you know, true like off-roader type, over, or overland type look. Um, acceleration, you know, even with the lift and everything, it's got more than enough power with this 5.0 V8. And then from uh, everything else, right? The interior looks, I think I love the XLT interior with the uh, leather added onto it. I think this is a really good setup. It looks fantastic. And then from a driving perspective, it's smooth. Uh, seat comfort's amazing. So like, I, I don't really have anything bad to say about the package. I know people are probably going to, uh, you know, be a little bit upset about the price, uh, but again, you have a warranty, right? You've got the three year, 36,000 mile warranty on the truck. And then on top of that, right, all these modifications, you know, they're done right. It's not just some cheap shop that's just throwing stuff together and being like, oh, hopefully it works. It's like, right, they really look into these things and they make sure that everything's calibrated. That's why the truck drives so smooth. And that's why they put a warranty on it is because they know that the stuff is gonna hold up, right? So yeah, even though, you know, you could technically go buy an XLT for, you know, this, and an XLT with this equipment, you're gonna be like almost $60,000 already, right? Or, or yeah, you're gonna be like $60,000. So yeah, you could go buy an XLT for about $60,000 that has this same interior package. And you could throw a lift, wheels and tires on it for significantly less expensive, but you're not gonna have a warranty. And I promise you, it's not gonna ride this good because it's not gonna be tuned the same way that this is tuned with the springs and the shocks and everything. That's all. That's gonna sum things up for our video on this F-150 RMT off-road. Again, a huge shout out and thank you to the Ed Kenley Ford here in Layton, Utah. Well, it's the only Ed Kenley Ford out there. I don't know why I said the, but you know what? We're gonna keep it in there because it makes it seem like more grandiose. Anyways, link to their description, link to their inventory in the description down below. We're gonna keep that in there too, because I can't talk today. I'll see you guys in the next video.